Hey guys, and welcome to your 1111 portal activation manifestation reading. Let's get into it with Amina. So I'm pretty much just opening up to spirit to see what messages are going to come through. What are you activating at this time? What is being activated within you during this portal? Okay. So I had a whole lot of pretty quartz set up all in the middle here, but I just moved it. Um, I don't know if I edited that out or if I kept that in, but I'm really feeling quartz lately. And I felt I should mention it again um, because maybe someone in the tribe needs to get some clarity about some things and quartz, clear quartz will really help you with that. So as you can see, we have four piles here, four. I usually do three. If I do four, y'all know it's something special going on. We got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four. Now let me show you each one. Each one has its own vibe, okay? So really try to choose one, my greedy light workers, because I know all of y'all here be choosing like one, be vibrating, but two, I felt it. Three is for me, but four, I'm taking them all. But look, if that's what your guides guide you to do, more power to you, but... Please at least try to have a strong one or two or three or four. And then everything else, if it vibrates, it vibrates. So this is pile number one. Okay. And it's also represented by this little cutie. Pile number two. And pile number two is also represented by this baby here. Pile number three. Y'all know can't have a portal session without my son's energy being activated fully, so... You might hear him every now and then in the background. And pile number three is also represented by this pretty little angel. And last but not least, pile number four. And pile number four is represented by this brother. Take a deep breath. These are some quick reads, but they are going to give you a wealth of information. And I'll be right back with pile number one. Hey, pile number ones, let's get into it. Okay, so if you were drawn to this entity here, your message is coming from the Ascended Masters. That could be Buddha. That could be Jesus Christ. That could be deities. Um, That could be... Uh, Mary, Mother Mary, uh, Prophet Muhammad, um, oh man, they're like, all their names are uh, St. Germain, um, there's so many, okay, but your message is coming from the Ascended Masters at this time, um, you were also drawn to this Starseed card, in case you didn't realize these are Starseed cards, and that card is read last. So let's see, first off, what this portal What's being activated in your life at this time? So first you have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Six of Cups. And you have the High Priestess reversed. All right, so what this portal is activating in your life right now is a sense of bringing 
your past into the present, but using your intuition to do so. There's something that you've been getting a little nudge to look back on. It could be an old friendship. It could be an old job. It feels like an old hobby or job or something you used to do that you balanced very well, like with something else. Maybe you had a nine to five and you had a hobby that was lucrative. Maybe you had more than one talent or gift and you were balancing both. But it feels like as you got older, you stopped doing it, but you always had a love for it. Something has been pulling you back, but you're ignoring your intuition. You've been ignoring your intuition that's been telling you, I need to address this. I need to go back to this. I need to do this again. There's something about it that's calling me. I've always loved doing it since I was young. And now I think it's the time to do it again. But with the high priestess reverse, it's almost like you're ignoring that calling. And this 1111 portal is going to activate within you the need to really listen to that calling. So I want to flip your high priestess around because it is time for you to listen to that intuition. You're very intuitive, my power number ones, but you don't listen to, you don't trust yourself. You don't trust the guidance and the guidance you're receiving is coming from the ascended masters. So really listen. I'm hearing when you meditate, when you go within, that's when you get a lot of messages and visions. I feel like you're a visionary a group, my power ones. You see things. All right. And when they come to you in your mind, you brush them off a lot. Or you'd be like, I had this dream, but it was stupid. It was crazy. Or while I was meditating, this vision came in my head, but I just brushed it off. And your ascended masters who are working with you right now are letting you know it's not something to brush off. It's real. And you need to really pay attention to these callings. All right. Now, what's been awakened within you at this time? My light worker is the spiritual decree. Now, when I say the spiritual decree card, it usually is saying that you are being opened up to many different spiritual beliefs, that you are able to connect to many different spiritual beliefs and spiritual groups and um, seamlessly bring them together within yourself. You um, you you. I don't know. It's like it's you are opened up to you're being opened up to the universe and maybe you've been praying. Maybe you've been seeking clarity. Maybe that's why I felt moved to talk about the courts. But they want you to trust at this time. You're going to have the experience of seeing what you want come into manifestation. But it doesn't mean you have to do a whole bunch of stuff to make it happen. You have to just trust that you have all of the universe supporting you. Okay? So what they want you to do at this time is vibrate in the energy of what you want. It's time to speak your truth. What does your heart truly yearn for? Focus on it and say it out loud. Don't be afraid to speak your dreams, your, your wishes, your desires, your fantasies. Say them out loud because that's how you can understand what you truly want. And I really feel like it's something that you have done a long time ago. And maybe you felt like you couldn't balance it. You needed a nine to five. You could or something with stability and balancing it and financial concerns that caused you to kind of brush it to the side. But it's always been your dream. And it'd be very liberating for you when you finally turn back towards what it is. So will you speak your heart truths? Will your words, will you feel your words moving the energy from like from deep within you and and transforming your truth into sound and then releasing it as in your intent into the universe? You don't even have to worry about how you say it. Just give yourself permission to express your deepest desires and then let go and trust. And that's what's being activated within you at this time is the ability to speak out what it is you want to the universe, vibrate in that energy, surrender it to the universe, trust and watch it come in and manifest. Your advice, the advice cards come from Rumi and this is your advice card. And it says, 
whirling goddess. Not a single thread that has a head can go through the eye of the needle. Certain thresholds can only be crossed with the heart. You are being asked to trust. Oh my God. That again, rather than understand so that you may leave the past behind you and embrace the beauty of your life's journey. You are ready. So whatever happened in the past, we felt like you couldn't balance it. You felt like you didn't get the finances weren't balanced with the love you had for the craft. They're saying, leave that in the past. Your journey now is coming full circle and it's going to lead you right back to that because that is where your heart is. That is what you love. So trust that you are going in the right direction. Trust that it is going to manifest for you in the best way possible at this time. That is what this portal is manifesting for you. The star seeds come through to also let you know about star seed ancestors to say blue flame, baby, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. So you have a great connection to the blue flame. And when you meditate, call on that energy. Feel yourself covered in this light, this blue light. Maybe wear some blue too and just Open up your heart chakra, open up your heart and allow yourself to truly, truly go after what it is you love to do. That's it. And on that note, my palatable ones, I bid you peace, <laughs> blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being in my tribe. Going on to power number two now. Welcome, pile number two. Let's get into it with Amina. All right, so if you were drawn to this elephant here, your message is coming through from your animal spirit guides, which will be working with you very closely during this uh, this full moon. I'm sorry, full moon, look at that. They must have started working with you during the full moon. I meant to say during this portal. So you've already been kind of feeling that connection to your animal spirit guides, maybe getting a lot of signs from animals, um, seeing certain animals, seeing certain just things that catch your attention, birds. Um, but to have the elephant here, there is something with this portal that is building up a uh, strength within you. You're going to be forging new paths. I see you knocking down old ways and bringing in new ways fearlessly. But I see it being fresh stuff that nobody has ever thought of before because this is a baby elephant. So it's like something that you're creating that's going to grow and be huge. It's just a feeling I'm getting there. I didn't even get to show the, the starseed uh, card yet. I'm not going to use the starseed card. It's going to be a red last. So let's see what this portal is bringing into your life. So you have the two of cups reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. And the Hierophant reversed. Wowzers. Okay. So what this portal is bringing into your life at this time is a little bit of a, a, a journey. Um, You may have been feeling like very closed off, heart chakra wise. Maybe you invested a lot into a love relationship or a partnership or even just in something that you really was were into doing something that you thought it was your destiny or your fate to do. But what I'm hearing is it did not go as planned because you are not meant to do the norm. You tried to follow a plan that you felt would fit with the status quo and that was not meant for you okay so you got hurt you ended up joining forces with things that look like they were meant for you or people that look like they were meant for you but they weren't and because of that your heart got wounded you shut down um you locked down your emotions but what i'm seeing here with the hair font is that you're meant to do things in a non-traditional way 
And as long as you try to do things traditionally or the way you think it's expected or whatever, 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 and so forth, it's not going to work for you. So what this portal is activating in your life at this time is for you to have the strength and the courage to push through what has already been done, what is expected, what is seen as the norm, quote unquote, and to bring into fruition something new, something that is going to be a new tradition for a people that may have been overlooked or looked down upon. At this time, you're meant to have your heart healed through forging your own path and not walking the path that everyone else has walked. I feel like you may feel like you're in a little bit of a hanged man, a hanged person predicament where you feel like you're not moving backwards, you're not moving forward, but you're taking a moment right now to see things from another perspective. And through that time that you're taking, you're getting a lot of energy from the divine to open your eyes and show you you're not meant for everyone. And you have to be very selective of where you give your love and your energy. You're a very big nurturer, um, very big on loving everyone, even people that are not like you, that are different from you. You give them your love. And um, it's time for you. I just hear underdog. Uh, you fight for the underdog. And that could be in a corporate sense or in an artistic sense. But there's something about your strength that attracts the underdog to you, even though you may feel like you're the underdog or the black sheep in your family or, you know, something like that I, of, of not the norm. And that's beautiful. And that's wonderful. And that's what's being activated in your life at this time. The ability to love and accept the fact that you are, you're the elephant in the room. Okay. You are meant to stand out. You're meant to forge new paths that are totally against what people might see as being the traditional way, you know, or following a certain religious suit. You are meant to do things your way. And that's being activated in your life at this time. You're going to be getting a boost to do that because as long as you don't, your heart's going to continue to be hurt by those that you're trying to fit in with. Those you are trying to be like or be accepted by. That's what I was looking for. Now, let's see how it's activating. What's it? It's activating within you. Wow. Initiation by fire. 22. So this is ironic to get this on 11, 11, 22 day, a 22 card. So these numbers and this day is very, very important for you in manifesting. Initiation by fire. You look like you're very, very protected at this time. Um, and I feel like what's being activated within you is the ability to cleanse, to burn away what no longer is serving a purpose in your life. I do feel like you're really, really, really a lot of divine light coming into you, a lot of divine inspiration, very, very close ties to source energy. And um, I do feel like you're going through a process right now where you're learning how to burn away what is not needed. And as you're doing that, you're also being protected. So let's see what else I'm going to look in the book for this one and see what else it says. All right. Initiation by fire is a life changing spiritual cleansing. Your life will never be the same again. Allow the power of divine fire to clear and purify you inside and out. This is not a time to hold on to anything, no matter how much you once believed you needed it. In letting go, you will gain so much more than you ever imagined, opening to fresh blessings and new life. You are like the phoenix, ready to emerge from the holy flames, reborn. And so take note, that also means you have the spirit of the phoenix within you. That's another one of your animal spirits coming through. You are someone who has been scorned, who has been burned, but you are rising again and your life will never be the same once you let go of all the stuff that hurts you, that burnt you, and you start actually burning your own path, forging your own way. And your advice comes from Rumi. And it says, arise. Wow, exactly what you're being told to do. Wings of hope languish from lack of use. 
Every cell in your body is created to rise to challenges. You have gumption, chutzpah, <laughs> guts. You dare to love where others see only pain. You dare to believe that everything will work out where others only see what they judge to be wrong. You seek freedom where the world succumbs to manipulation and propaganda. Where others peddle fear, you recognize and know love's true power. So stand in it because as a queen of cups or any type of cups energy, love and the heart are very, very, very uh, important for you. And um, you're getting told that it's time now to stand in that energy of love. You just got to cut away the stuff that's been holding you down. And your star ancestors, last but not least, they say celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. And on that note, I'm going to leave you with that, my pal twos. I think that's a beautiful read right there. I'm sending y'all lots and lots of love. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this even, enjoy the rest of your 1111. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of this tribe. On to pal three. Hey, pal number three. Let's get right into it with Amina. So, you were drawn to this starseed card, which will be read last, and this angel. Now, what I want you to know about this angel, I this is probably the second or third time I've bought these. Every time I get it, one of my kids or uh, somehow not sit down and one of the wings comes off. So I have like two or three of these that have one wing. But the message I'm getting whenever I touch these is that you have some strong, powerful angels who are willing to go to battle for you, who have gone through to battle for you. So whenever they lost a the wing, I always saw it as, wow, you just protected me from something. Wow, you just blocked something, shifted some kind of energy. And through that, you lost the wing. And... um. I feel like that's what you have, pal number threes. You have a lot of angelic guardians, angel guardians. You yourself may even be an earth angel here to help and guard other people, protect other people. Um, and um, you have a lot of um, archangels who are willing to go to war for you. So no weapon formed against you shall prosper. All right. So let's see how this portal is affecting your life. What is being activated in your life at this time? You have the Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Five of Pentacles reversed. So what I'm getting for you at this time, what's being activated in your life is the ability to see that you are magic. You no longer have to have up this heavy guard. You know you're protected. You have stood your ground and you continue to stand your ground in what you believe and what you know to be true about you and can't nobody shake that. Maybe at one time you did feel as if um, you were misunderstood that um, wherever you tried to put your influence, it was kind of um, not accepted and doors were closed in your face where you thought would be opportunity. But now what's being activated in your life is this wand energy of manifestation, manifesting what you are passionate about fired that gets you fired up and that could be relationships that could be career wise that could just be anything that gets you fired up and no matter what anybody has to say about it you're going to stand your ground behind what it is that gets you going <clears throat> you no longer look for validation you will no longer care um what others opinions are 
Because honestly, if this time was being activated in your life is that people are going to be looking at you in a whole nother viewpoint. They're going to see you as beautiful, as a powerful manifester. And um, there are going to be a lot of people that want to be in your energy, but you are very protected, very protected. And um, they will not be able to get in unless you allow them in. And you no longer are in this energy. You see, it's reversed. You are now realizing that you are worthy and that you don't need validation from other people and that you have always had the key to your prosperity. Now, you know, now you have the wand and that's what's being activated in your life under this portal is you realizing the magic within you. Now, let's see what's being activated within you, because this already looks like something else being activated within you. But also, I guess in your life now, you're changing the way you allow your life to be affected by the outside world. And that seems to be the consensus for most of y'all in this tribe um, under this portal. So we have power of the divine masculine coming through. Very interesting. So what's being activated within you is the power of the divine masculine. Now, the power of the divine masculine comes with a lot. It comes with wisdom. It comes with uh, the ability to take action, um, to be fearless and to... Um, to have a great grasp on thought and emotions without being overwhelmed by emotions. Thoughts and feelings is the proper thing I should say. Um, so I'm going to uh, read to you from the book exactly what they're saying. You know, I give my message and sometimes I like to see what the message was in the book. But it says, an empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from confusion, paralysis, paralysis. Oh my God, I'm tongue-tied. Paralysis and stagnancy. It seeks to stir you into consciously chosen action, greater discipline and focus. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new way of life. Feel inspired to be energized and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical plane. Believe your success is inevitable. And this is... One of the great things of the divine ma masculine is confidence and the ability to go after what they are passionate about in with a, a balance of wisdom involved as well. I just feel like everything you touch at this time is going to just be amazing with the way he has this light coming from his hands. So it does feel like divine energy working through him. As well as the way she's able to go boom and make magic. So you have some strong manifestation energy being activated for you at this time. Use it. Whatever it is you want. Your angels are protecting you right now and um, forevermore. And so use that light energy to go after your dreams. And your advice from Rumi. It says beyond the threshold of fear. And that's exactly what the divine masculine is removing from you. It is your fear holding you back like a bar behind the door. Your relationship with fear is changing. No more shall it hold you in its thrall. You are becoming able to observe it, to experience it, to have compassionate wisdom rather than resistance. Oh, what a spiritual marathon you have been running. Now the end is in sight. The power that you use to give fear is now transferred to your extraordinary heart. Ain't nothing else to say about that. <laughs> that really summed it up. But let's see what your star ancestors also want you to know at this time. And it says, Starseed, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light. So if you didn't know you were one, you are a star seed and they are calling you out at this time with that my pile number threes i hope that you like this video if you're not subscribed you do join my community here and subscribe and um i'm sending you so much light and love you about to do some big big things in this world and um be fearless you're protected peace blessings
and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of this tribe, I'm about to move on to POW4. Alrighty, last but not least, we have POW number four. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just get into it with Amina. Let's jump right in. All right. So if you were drawn to this star seed card, this will be red last. And you were drawn to this sculpture. This sculpture for me sits on my table. It used to be on my altar and it represents ancestor energy. So right now your ancestors are coming through to holler at you. And maybe you've been feeling like they've been distant. I'm hearing that now. Maybe you've been feeling like, where are y'all? They've been here. The thing is that right now on this journey, they are watching you apply the stuff that you learned. They are also beckoning you to remember ancient ancestral secrets but at the same time to bring them into the now they don't want you to be too heavily influenced by ways of old they want you to be influenced yes inspired maybe actually but to take them and make them accessible to the now to those who minds cannot wrap around um ancient times to younger generations. So your ancestors want you to know that they are with you, that they have been with you through all of everything you've been going through on your spiritual journey at this time. And I feel like you've been on a long, long journey. They give, they're giving me like tired energy. And um, you're going to have time to rest soon is what I'm hearing that they are actually, I'm, I'm hearing we're beating the drums and, and we're preparing for you a, a time a period of ease a time of celebration where you'll be able to just say I did that and now I can pause for a minute and see what I need to do next what a blessing so let's see what is being activated in your life at this time during this portal so you have the queen of swords reversed The King of Pentacles reversed. And the Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Really interesting. Um, so what's being activated in your life at this time under this portal's energy? Okay, so what I'm feeling for you at this time that is being activated in your life. With the Queen of Swords here, um, it has a lot to do with communication, how you communicate and um, a need to to use your head a little bit more than your heart, um, meaning maybe you communicate a lot from emotion and whatever your emotion is triggered is how you speak. And at this time, what's being What's being activated within you is the ability to think first before you communicate to make sure you come from a place that is not just based off of emotion, but is based off of wisdom and feeling and intuition, actually. Wisdom and inner knowing. Um, also being activated within you at this time is the ability to balance spiritual with material. I feel like for a long time you had a negative view of material of wealth and now you are starting to realize wealth it can come in many different forms and also to do your healing work or your spiritual work or whatever it is that you do my power for us you need some kind of material wealth so you're learning how to balance the two and not so much be focused just on getting the money getting the money but more focused on what the money can do for you with the Three of Cups here, you're also learning the value you bring to the relationships you're in. So you're letting go of a lot of relationships where you feel like you are not valued. But what we want you to do, and that's your ancestors coming through, is to be careful with how you communicate these, these days. Maybe um, you feel undervalued and you come emotional. And you don't come from a, wisdom, a place of wisdom, a place of inner knowing. Um... 
and you're not thinking about what the consequences or the outcome is going to be. You're just very sharp tongued. You're quick to turn your back, but they want you to really take a moment to assess how you feel and express it in a way that's clear to the point and based in wise discernment and inner knowing and knowing your worth and how much you bring to a relationship, but also being able to forgive and not hold grudges and also recognizing the value that others bring to relationships that are in relationships with you as well. Everyone is not disloyal and that's something else you're seeing now that's being activated for you is loyalty. People that truly are loyal to you, who will truly support your dream. And um, maybe you thought as a healer or in the line of work you do, or maybe you're a parent, that there would be no time for you to celebrate, to have a good time with friends. And so you kind of turn your back to the energy of having strong bonds. Perhaps you've been hurt many times by having strong bonds with people where you now don't tolerate that coming in too much but you're starting now to balance this energy out to really know who is a part of your soul tribe to understand how to call in wealth without letting it consume you and seeing it in a negative way but now seeing it as a positive and affirm you my power force need to affirm money is a form of love and I'm open to give and receive it that will help you shift that energy um, and also just how to communicate. You're learning how better now to speak your peace. That's what's being activated for you now. This portal is the ability to communicate from a place of warmth, a place of inner knowing, a place of wisdom, how to call in that money, that wealth that you so deserve, how to get and maintain loyalty that will continue to bring you in that wealth and balance it with your spiritual beliefs and needs and also finding the time to cultivate good friendships soul members of your inner circle um, and finding time to just let down your hair relax it's coming that time where you can say ah, job well done and you have had many of those moments but I feel like there's something you've been waiting on. Like you've been just looking off in the distance. Like where is this moment for me? And where I'm just sitting relaxed and content. And it's coming in. It's coming in now. This portal's actually activating the energy in your life to get this wheel turning. Okay. What's being activated within you? Karmic clearing. Wow. Wow. So you've been doing a lot of karmic work and what you are now getting through this portal is your karma is cleared. There is going to be no more uh, struggles. There will be no more hardships. There will, you might experience some pain, some, some things here and there, you know, there's road bumps everywhere, you know, but overall your life is about to be on a whole new level. You have the divine literally shining down on you and blessing you and saying, job well done. Whatever spiritual work you've been doing, it has worked. You have cleared your karma. You have leveled up. And now on that mountaintop, you're about to be blessed with everything you deserve. Everything you deserve is coming in. And the book says you are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. And that is what's happening for you. You're releasing an old wound, maybe an old friendship, an old love. People that have hurt you and caused you to maybe turn cold and, and shut down your feelings. That is all being cleared for you. You've done the healing work. You've done the spiritual work. Let's see what Rumi advises you. 
This card almost looks like a butterfly to me, like someone going through a transformation. But let's see. This card is new to me. I don't think I've ever gotten this one. Okay, maybe I was holding it upside down. There we go. So it says, the cloak of Christ. Wow, how fitting. In the school of humanity, you reside on the king's throne. Your soul has been ravaged and you are succumbing to weariness. That which plagues you is not as powerful as you fear. Exhaustion is not a sign that something must be done so much as a sign that something must be received aloud. Accept divine refuge now. So you're getting peace of mind. You're getting a chance to rest. You're getting the cloak of Christ and the, the divine is just, they're just holding you in their hands at this time. They're holding you in their hands. They're clearing away all of the hurt from friendships and loves and financial situations and loyal disloyalty and all of that that's going wrong and helping you to open up your heart again because all of that is over. These, these things cannot hurt you again. And your star ancestors want to say, Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. And that to me is your higher purpose. I feel like this is my power for my healers, my earth mamas, my nurturers, my uh, intuits as well. But I really feel like the healers. And in order to heal, you have to be going through a healing process and you're What's being activated for you in this portal is that you are completing it. You're coming to the end of a cycle and really entering a new one. You're leveling up big time because with karma, karma cleared, there's so many doors that are going to open for you. On that note, my power fours, wow. Some deep readings today. Love all you guys. Please remember to like this video and subscribe comment as well. I love the comments. I'm sending y'all so much peace in your life. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. Love y'all for real, for real. Later.